to another YouTube video. It is your golden way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe Jesus Christ is the way. So I was thinking, I was just sitting in my room and I'm like, something needs to change about the way I've been living my life because I have been living on a day-to-day -day basis, not really being fulfilled because I'm not doing the things I love to do. Like I haven't been exercising in a while. I, I have been reading my Bible. I have been committing my time to the Lord. I've been doing all of that, but I haven't been cooking enough. The window, I mean, the door is open. Let me quickly close it. I haven't been committing enough and paying attention to the rest of my life, like the rest of the elements of my life. Like I've been paying attention to my spiritual health, but not much of my mental health, not much of like my leisure activities. I just been school, 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 and just yeah, like man, I feel like I'm not where I wanted my life to be going this year. And this is April, so this is gonna be an April reset, which is like a completely live turnover. So like starting today's the second of April. So starting tomorrow, which is a Monday, I have like to edit a video at school for my exam, like the one that I recorded, you guys saw me come back from block and stuff like that. And editing that video and I wrote I wrote exams like last week and I finished my research proposal. Exciting stuff. Um hopefully like everything is all good from the supervisor and then we have a go ahead and like ethics as well then we can do the research but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is just me showing you guys my beautiful outfit because I look stunning well I think I look like I was telling the people at church because it's like my church Sunday outfit that I am in my Makoti era I'm kidding I'm not in, in my Makoti era I'm like in my my Christian cute girl era, like this is this has been a journey for me and it's a journey that I've enjoyed being on. Just discovering my style and something I'm really comfortable with and really where I wanna be. And the way I'm dressing nowadays is something that like it speaks my it speaks to my character, it embodies me and I think like that's something I searched for for a long time and now that I finally found it, it's so exciting because it's not dictated by what I see or how other people look and whatnot, but it's mostly dictated about how I want to be perceived because I think that's what clothes are for clothes are to to announce before you say a word and to me that's what my clothes are doing you know and that's just like a side note so that's something I'm proud of that's been happening in the season so I am just gonna reset my entire year like I feel like the plans that I had like my goals I'm not making progress in those areas like my finances things are a little you know like there's money but there's no money like I see it but I, I don't see it you know it's there but it's not being as fruitful as I would have wanted it to be so like moving forward like this is just me venting now moving forward for the rest of the year I want to be more accountable for my finances and not just only my finances but my mental health like my physical health because I haven't been exercising and like two months have gone by like there was a month I tried and then now I stopped and then now I'm like I need to go back <laughs> to exercising so tomorrow I'm going to start Chloe's challenge I'm going to start running in the morning because I think that's convenient in terms of like block and stuff because sometimes I don't feel like following your whole routine like a 20 something minute one hour something long because that's quoting but i would like run and then i come back and, like exercise so i'm gonna do her routine um and i obviously like i'll document the progress because i think that's gonna be nice to see like tonight i'm doing my hair so usually like when i'm changing up stuff i start with what I think is like basic things so like I'm changing my hair I'm doing my portfolio like I'm doing all these things these are things that make me happy yesterday I cooked and I was so happy it's like a picture of my food from yesterday because I'm a chef I like food presented well and I like cooking good food also so just like those little tiny things those are things that I'm going back to and I'm really proud that I'm going back to them because like I felt good in those times so yeah I'm gonna go make myself some dinner before I start braiding and fix my hair to braid and stuff like that and then I will yeah I'll braid and work at the same time but I'm like I'm halfway through my first journal for my portfolio so I have three out of um I have one of three so far so and I have like all the articles ready for me it's just it's just leading like the conceptualization to start happening and relating it to my you know stuff but that's like that's not your business this hanging thing right here is oh, what do you call this thing is um 
an apron so I'm like taking it all full in and I'm really just so excited I want to go back to reading I want to like these things that give me meaning in life like as an occupational therapist like oh huh, that sounds nice as an occupational therapist student uh, <laughs> I have to only specify I'm a student because I'm not yet qualified but I will be at the end of the year but like as an as an occupational therapy student I have a full understanding of the importance of the mundane things and I think that because the mundane things are occupation the activities of daily living and with me like when I get too busy I neglect the mundane things I neglect leisure I think leisure is the big one leisure is the first to go I don't like I couldn't I was like you know when you go through blocks like I was reading up and like finding out information about like leisure participation and like watching a series is passive leisure so passive leisure and active leisure two different things i don't i don't even know if those are concepts but if they are not i'm probably researching them it'll be awesome but i'm pretty sure they are like why would it's i feel like it's such an easy thing to come up with um because <laughs> if i can come up with it like someone else probably already has but like passive and active leisure i think like are different experiences and how meaningful they are it like I personally think that there's a difference and because when I engage in reading I'm being fulfilled I'm retaining knowledge I'm experiencing something and I am reinforcing my vocabulary my speech my communication skills all of those things are developing while I read where else when I watch something I'm being like the same is happening but it's happening auditory and it's happening passively because I'm watching to be entertained and I'm watching to, you know, so like active leisure probably would be like acquiring a new skill, whereas um, passive leisure would be just enjoyment, like specific to just being in the, like participating in the occupation. Um, but obviously now I'm talking more logistic stuff and stuff like that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Probably gonna see this video maybe on Wednesday or like Friday, I don't know. But one of the two days. Um, I didn't post anything last week because I just I was sick. Like I still have back issues, but God has healed me. Like God has really helped me on multiple things, and the devil just keeps attacking. And I'm just like, my God is too strong for you. <laughs> you can keep attacking, but my God is too strong. Like my breastplate of righteousness is protecting me all the way from front to back. I am, I am stating facts in this thing. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll probably see you guys tomorrow when i don't necessarily look this pretty <laughs> but as you can tell i'm a pretty girl i am a proper 31 woman <laughs> uh, well i'm wearing heels so i'm gonna stand up for my being back because i'm tired now hope you guys are enjoying your video well enjoy the video not hope that you're enjoying it enjoy the video <laughs> oh my god Good, good morning. Um, it's a lovely day. The star, the sun is out. <laughs> I don't know what the star is out. Um, this is actually Tuesday, not Monday. So on Monday, I did not finish my hair on Sunday. So it is done now, but like you're obviously going to see it a bit later. So I didn't finish my hair on Sunday night. So I had a whole duke situation going on for that rest of the day. And then um, I went into campus, so I didn't want to take the camera with me. Um, now I went in to edit my video. Then when I came back, I finished my hair, which also took time. So I only like ended at like four or something, and I had breakfast and dinner and all that. Oh, went well. Uh, I'm so sorry. I just woke up and. I slept late yesterday as well, which is a bad idea because now it tips over me waking up early to work out and stuff. But I'm still gonna work out today. I didn't work out yesterday. I'm gonna work out today. Um, do some stretches. I think that's gonna be my workout. <laughs> I'll start working out again. Like I'll just slowly ease into it. But like I feel like stretches are so important right now because I am typing a lot. I am seated a lot, so probably focus on that for now um but outside of that that's just it you know i don't know why the camera struggled to focus but yeah hey hey hey
focus on me. On me only. Okay. So, I hope you guys, well, I can't even say I hope you guys are enjoying this video because, like, I'm just starting it over again today. But I'm gonna go work out now, then shower, and then I will be typing the whole day today. Like, I'm gonna be typing. My aim is to finish all my journals. I have one out of three that's done already. I wanna finish the other two. Um, and it's, it's a lot of work but once I have that done I know that tomorrow I have the whole day to work on my presentations for my exams so and I also have Thursday which is great so I can if I finish both my journals today I'll have Wednesday and Thursday individually to work on my exams which is great um, yeah I have like presentations I look so cute and tired. I don't think I'll look this pretty, but such is life. And plus, there's no power, so I haven't had coffee. That's why my eyes are little. And my spirits also. Well, my mood. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. So I just like completed a stretch routine for my morning routine. It was not the whole thing, this was just a brief. Introducing her. So I obviously finished my hair as you can see. I didn't actually I wanted it to be a lot more, but then I realized that I was doing medium style braids. It's a little bit curly as if you know. But yeah. It's chills whatever. So the power is back on. I'm done showering and bottom side is done also. So I'm gonna go make myself some small little cute breakfast. And then I'm going to start working. Um, I want coffee, so I'm going to make some eggs and bread, <laughs> the basics, and some coffee. Yeah, I'm so tired. I wonder why, but I should sleep early today also. Can't keep sleeping late. That's not going to work. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys along. And I think today I'm going to work on the food bag. I feel like. I need the, the this back support and also like my table has like sun on it <laughs> because like my room is yeah it's on a very interesting side like because it's not it, my room is north it's facing north like the window is north coming in this way the sun was rises from the east It's me calculating if the sun does rise from the east. Yes, the sun rises from the east and then it sets at the west. I don't know. I think the last time I did geography was like four or five years ago. <gasps> Hectic. But anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. So like in the middle of the day, like midday or like before noon, the sun is like directly in my room. So before noon, like my, the sun is like literally in my room and it's just radiating. And I love it. It's really pretty. I probably should wear a necklace. My neck feels so naked. But at the same time, I don't want to wear jewelry because, like, my hair gets caught up in the jewelry. Then it's not that nice anymore. But let me know what you think. I did this myself, so with everything that I had, <laughs> I just took all the braids that I, I had on and I was like, well, what can I make? What is one style that I can do that's going to be cute and stylish and, you know, and different as well because I have a tendency of doing the same kind of hairstyles so I wanted something different for a change so that was <laughs> that was hectic but I wanted something different for a change so I got myself something different for a change you know yeah I feel like I'm just gonna keep talking let me just go make my my breakfast so I basically like very simple breakfast meals and by simple I mean like, like eggs, I eat a lot of eggs because I need my protein and I haven't been able to get a hold of whole wheat bread in a long time because I haven't been like to the stores in a long time so I just sort of 
um, work with what I have and I think I was adjusting the camera and if you see how dirty my pen is just mind your business that pen is like four years old I've had that pen since first year so it's pretty cool um, it's just like something I've kept even though I've, I've wanted to buy a new pen multiple times so I've had like this new like at the at this point in time I was really addicted to um, eggs and cheese like a grilled cheese sandwich but I wasn't necessarily making a grilled cheese sandwich I was making a grilled cheese egg sandwich you know nothing complicated so I just chopped off like some cheese from a big block so like I usually buy these big blocks of cheese um, and depending on like my dietary requirements for that month I'll probably like use it for sauces like when I make pasta or just use it in like sandwiches when I'm going to school I'm probably gonna get some more even like in this coming a month and this was like last month by the way like I'm just taking I took too long to edit this, this um, video clips because I was on some break I can call that um, so this is just me breaking down the eggs cutting them a little bit further and I'm just gonna cook the eggs bruh and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> So immediately right after like I made my breakfast, I just took a seat on my beanbag and I started working and I think I worked for a really long time and I was reading through articles there um, for my portfolio so it's like a, a reflective portfolio where you uh, reflect on like different topics about your learning experience and it's like it counts as 60% of my exam, is it 60 or 40? I really don't know but just yeah. <laughs> maybe I do though I just forgot but that's just generally what I was doing yeah okay. so I am taking a well-deserved break okay focus focus on me camera focus on me my hair's also not playing along I don't know why but like anyway um, I look like I'm okay but like there's so many things were stressing me out um, anyway it's half past three now I work from like 12 to have this thing and I'm so much done with my journal <laughs> like yeah it's a lot of work but anyway I'm just gonna quickly take a break because I feel like I deserve it if I don't take one now it's just it's just not gonna go well for the rest of the day so I'm gonna take a quick break I hope you guys are enjoying this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe subscribe sub sub subscribe <laughs> yep lucky stuff so I'm, I'm back from my break so I have to sit on my chair because now I'm about to do the intense types well the other aspects which is reading um, articles which I actually generally enjoy like I found this nice thesis about a lady um, at occupational therapy that was doing her masters and I think she did it on therapeutic use of self and that it's, it, it's super cool like I was reading through it I'm like this is so nice then she like dedicated like she had a page saying like all glory to God it was such a nice thing to see you know I think as a as a Christian it's always nice to see other people professing their faith so boldly and just like putting it out there and it's pretty awesome I hope you guys are enjoying my little mini um, ten, it's turning out to be a study video than it is a reset video but this is what it looks like when I'm resetting my life <laughs> um, while having other things to sort of deal with so you're gonna be seeing this video a lot later than I thought I thought you were gonna see it on Wednesday but nope you're gonna see it Friday or Thursday because yeah I have a, I still have so much more to do like I still need to update my my budget I still need to fix my calendar which was supposed to be the first thing I showed you guys because that's something I do when I'm not in school because it's harder to wake up it's harder to follow a routine when the school calendar is not detecting like all the university calendar is not telling you what you should be doing so that's also tricky and then my nail decided to break now all of it's 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 
trying to make it focus. It's, it doesn't want to focus. Focus on the nail. On the nail, bro. Ugh. But anyway, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not in the same length as the others. Now I've messed up everything. Now I have to file my nails again when I'm taking a break. So I will do that. But yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Today I'll try. Journal 1 is probably going to end now in the next hour. Then I'll start Journal 2. But probably finish it late also if not tomorrow but the aim is to finish both journals today which is what I'm going to be doing now if it means that I'm gonna start cooking in the middle of journal too then that so be it that's the other way to make sure that I do what I need to do but reading sometimes really does take time like sometimes literature reviews just so much because you're trying to comprehend all these things and trying to like understand it in a way that's reflective you know I don't know like yeah because it's supposed to still fit it in like it's a whole process on its own um, but yeah enjoy <laughs> It's getting very dark outside. Well, it's not yet too dark, but like it's at it's half past six, and I'm almost done with journal two. I'm gonna start journal three immediately after. So I'll update you guys tomorrow because I don't wanna keep you here for the rest of the night, you know. So I'll update you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are liking this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! finished my journals check 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 my portfolio is finally done I just need to add the who I am part placement overview and then submit it to turn it in and then submit it you know officially done done now I'm gonna move to the other aspect I know I did say I was gonna do a lot of admin work today but I lied turns out I have so much academic work I will get to the admin work but I'm gonna work on my what do you call the thing? I have a, a community exam and it's also a presentation. So I need to research first before I make the presentation. So I'm gonna work on the slides for that presentation. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best way to explain it. So I'm gonna see you guys up later. Hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.